Wow, there's a lot going on today, but also at the same time, it's really, it's active and peaceful at the exact same time. <laughs> Serene, yet active. It's all right, Lou. Oh, there's a little dog party outside. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Lulu. I'm going to let the energies pass a second here. Hmm. All right. Well, let's take a look at today. <laughs> wow. There are a couple of things that I'm seeing as a theme is this um, like duality or this this mirroring. So we've got this dove and this being, this girl climbing, and they have a very similar um, shape to them. Both of these have a very similar shape. And when we were first looking at it, quite a few people were saying that there were like like um, a mother and child, a little boy and a big brother, like there's these two parts. And I feel like there's, that's kind of echoing throughout here. We've got the repeated, we've got the seats in here and the steps in here. There's like all these kind of um, repeated patterns in here. And I feel like that's higher self and material or physical self, that kind of uh, as above, so below, that kind of thing that's happening that's showing up um there's also it's like the climber and the like we can climb or we can fly we can be in the water and like overwhelmed and not blue we can be up on the shore here with not just leaves but like a little bird's nest and everything there's lots of life here um if we're in the right environment um I'm fascinated by this portal. <laughs> it's like it's it's missing a piece, but yet it's still active. You can see that it's got like a some sort of magic barrier thing activated. The boat has two seats. That's something to point out. Again, this number two just keeps coming up. Um, when I see waterfalls, I tend to think, like, waterfalls can symbolize a difficulty, but it also is this open place where, um, what is it, like the cracks or where the light gets through, that kind of thing, like, where there might be difficulty, that's also where our source kind of can flow in. That's where we can, you know, like, if you get, if you get to rock bottom, that's where you finally will surrender. But so waterfalls can signify source flowing into our lives too. And it feels like that's coming from the external. So it could show up um, through other people's actions, our own actions. I feel like she's climbing. Yeah, she looks like she's dancing too, too. I, I feel like there is that kind of flow. Um, she's got her hand right over here on the edge. But yeah, she could definitely be a dancer too. Like, I could see her spinning in circles, playfully. There's a joy to it. There's an active joy to it. Um, I feel like this, too, is saying, like, broken but still whole or something. Um, there's a couple, you know... Difficulty. So it looks like this one's got some difficulty. This has got some difficulty. Definitely climbing is a challenge. Um, a boat with no oars. So there's like a couple of things where we might feel challenged. Well, at the same time, this it's so abundant. <laughs> there's so much like water and greenery. And I just wanted to paint and paint and paint. And there was just so much more to see. I could sit here and find more things to add over and over and over. Um, I feel like I could easily like go in and put wildflowers and more birds and like just all kinds of things. It's just so full of life 
And I think that's so Marcy said, she looks like she's dancing to me full of life. And I think if I were to give it one description for the whole thing, I would say today's energy is full of life. I also am looking at this little cloud here, which looks like a pig to me. <laughs> and it's like when pigs fly. And I feel like, you know what, don't, uh, don't discount the possibilities for miracles. I think miracles are the natural order of things. So, um, they uh, it just be today's full of life. I feel like this is, I couldn't decide if this boat was like on the shore or still in the water. It's kind of in between. Um, but it's definitely, I feel like if this, this is telling a story, it kind of goes like this, like she parked a boat, she climbed up the thing, went through the portal and was like climbing the beanstalk kind of thing. Um, and where is she going? So let's take a look at what was happening up here. And this was stirring the pot of our own magic, like being, um, I, the message that came through with this one was let pride precede you. So be proud of yourself before you've reached the top. Like you don't have to get all the way to the top to already be proud of yourself. Um, that's, and that feels like that's continuing down here a lot with this green and um, kind of that soft sagey color. Let's see if we look at just the top and bottom. I like to divide it up a little bit. So let's look at just what's going on on the top part. This is what, how I read these is what's on the top part typically represents what's active in our vibration, what we're aware of. Um, and I feel like we're aware that we kind of went through a portal that we um, may be doing the climb towards something. We're probably aware of, you know, how the love and light of our life, the source energy is pouring in and fueling some things. I feel like we're aware of this little bird's nest. There's a couple, there's like two eggs in there. It's really tiny. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little tiny nest here. Um, something that we're, you know, creating and incubating is happening. Um, probably aware of like, yeah, maybe things look broken, but they still work <laughs> in some ways. This is veering into the internal. So I feel like it's such an easy thing to just lift that up and set that back in place. So it's an easy fix. Maybe it doesn't need to be fixed. Maybe it gives it interest, you know, if we have some things about us that feel that way. Um, it still works to go through it. The dove, that I feel like the dove is just a symbol of peace. Like there's just peace central to everything. What's below that line is the the waters that it runs into. And I feel like th that's something that we're going to kind of discover today is even though as we looked at the image, like the timeline was, oh, park the boat and like it went like that over time. I feel like we're going to discover something about how we got to where we are um, and what we're experiencing now. Hangman can be acrobatic too. I like that. Um, I feel like we're going to really understand how we got where we are. And the reason that that it would even matter is just that it gives a little bit of a bigger picture and it allows us to see how far we've come. But also, I think, a bigger um, understanding of how, just how much, like, we're aware of this little bit that source flows into our lives. But when we look at how far we've come and how we got to where we are, we start to recognize, like, oh, damn, like, I've been in this, the waters of source energy. Like, I'm really supported. There's always been a way, um, this is a, a vehicle, right? So there's always been a vehicle for me to move about in these things. There's always been this flow of energy coming in. There's always been steps to different things. Um, and so I think we're going to get some really great insights around that. All these elements are present. I feel like it's crazy abundant right now. <laughs> um, looking at the internal experience, I think the middle line is probably about right here. Internal experience feels like we are moving forward from the internal to the external. It feels like we've just got some stuff that structurally we've kind of left it for right now. And that today is very much more an extroverted day for a lot of us. Um, very active, 
I feel like spirit is kind of flowing with us. It's almost like, um, <laughs> like the opposite of a shadow. It's just the kind of our little like spirit companion moving with us, but also really blending into the landscape. So we might not be fully aware of it, be, um, but something I think you could pick up. You can feel your non-physical counterparts around you. But yeah, mostly what we'll experience in the external is just a ton of, of source energy flowing in. Uh, let me pull a card around it. I feel like I want to point out the boat and say that there's a buoyancy that creating structure is, is provides some buoyancy. <laughs> it's a nice stretch to hang with one arm like that uh, if you don't feel like being active. But see, I think people misunderstand what active is. Like you, there's. Lots of ways to be being is being active. Making making a decision is being active. Night owl. Ooh. The magic of your mind is connected to the stars and to wisdom as ancient as the moon. Allow yourself a quiet moment at night for clarity and illumination. So, you know, it could be coming to you in dream time. That could be when you're most active. I feel like there is this climb up. And this one seems to connect more to this than than even the bottom one. So I feel like it's like really moving in. I, I, it, the activity feels like just moving things into awareness. Clarity and illumination. So it could just happen at night. Maybe she's climbing up to the moon. <laughs> I also feel like the that night owl, that moon energy is very much connected to the water. It's fascinating how everything's flowing down and she's moving up. I'm just kind of, it's playing out. So one of the things I like to say when I do readings with people or when they're working with their own artwork is like, what happens next? So if you can imagine it becomes animated, right? What, what would the next scene be? So what happens um, if this became animated and, and time moved forward? Would she climb up here? Would she just hang like that for a little bit? Would she flip up? and go in there. Would this bird go to the nest and sit on the nest? Things would flow down. Would this boat, is it tied up or would it drift away? Would someone come fix this thing? Like, you know, what the clouds, what kind of day would they gather? Would they disperse? Um, that is all, that's all activity too, to just imagining. And so I think too, when I'm looking at this card, and we have the magic of your mind is connected to the stars and to wisdom as ancient as the moon. So allowing yourself a quiet moment at night for clarity and illumination. Yeah, it feels like if you could just be still and be quiet and um, that the things play out in your mind. Let's stew a little bit. <laughs> Oh, I'm so intrigued. I, I love the energy that's coming up today of curiosity. It feels like a storybook. It feels like Jack and the Beanstalk kind of thing. What am I going to discover? So, yeah, I do feel like I might take a midday nap to, <laughs> to bring some of that into clarity. All right, this is for everybody. This is just a general... Um, bonus card for the day. Embrace the unknown.
You simply don't know what you don't know, and that's okay. Don't overthink it. Just dance with the winds of change. Enjoy the unfolding adventure. Trust in the power of partnership and allow compassion to lead. That feels very fitting with our painting today. All right? She's dancing with the winds of change. We're talking about the partnership where there's like these two, this duality here. Absolutely. We don't know what's over the over the hedge or <laughs> where she's heading. Maybe into the cauldron. Yeah. But, but just un enjoy the unfolding adventure today. Mm-hmm.